Movies are so good. Just, just feel them. Who could forget the childlike whimsy of a young Frodo Baggins as his life and friends are mentally tested beyond repair? Classic. There's been a metric ton of Lord of the Rings games at this point. Some of them are pretty good. Like Return of the King for PS2? Yay! This game is mediocre at best. Battle for Middle Earth. It's one of the best. It's an imbalanced mess. And I love it. You just turtle up and throw rocks as Pippin. It's over. But just like any successful cinematic universe out there, there's gonna be bootlegs. Some of the best include uh, Witch King Elrond. Oh, oh yeah. That's Gimli, all right. Oh my God, what the fuck? Don't act like you don't know what the King of the Magic Rings is, all right? It's one of the greatest tales of our time. And from the deepest and darkest pits of Mordor. You can find stuff like this. I mean, you got those classic Lord of the Rings characters, Frodo, Gandalf, and Vega. The English title floating around on this one is Lord of the Rings 3 Imperfect World. Yeah, that's about right. This game's gonna be great! It's got all the moves! You can swing your sword, jump around, move left and right! Is that freaking muck? It's been like two seconds and we're already running into Pokemon! Cause Pokemon were very common in Middle Earth, you see. Many a time you can see the majestic Vulpix wandering the fields. I don't know what's up with this game, but you're basically assaulted from the moment you start the game till the end. Weird fire enemies, little dragons, and grabby hands. Don't touch me, I didn't give you permission. And to keep it in line with that Pokemon theme, you got Tentacool. The quintessential Lord of the Rings enemy. It goes Urukai, Orc, Tentacool. I don't even know what's really going on, to be honest. Is this even Lord of the Rings? Who am I? Am I Frodo? Am I Aragorn? <laughs> uh, well, what is that? Like a falling reaction shot? Oh, jeez. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh. This game doesn't even attempt to be anything closely resembling the Lord of the Rings. None of the enemies make any sense. I don't even think there's a single orc in the game. The only thing from the actual Lord of the Rings movies are these pixelated images at the beginning of the game. What is this? It's a skull with a sword through his head. That's the boss. Oh, it, oh, oh, and, there, and there's a butterfly. Same attack pattern and all. Oh, you know what? It's a moth. I'm fighting the, the moth that Gandalf releases on top of the tower. It's the same moth. This is one of those games where you just non-stop attack the entire time. Move to the right, spam the attack button. And even if you're doing that, you're gonna get hit so many times because enemies just fly under the screen, you can't react fast enough. Crush doing it, son of a- Come on! You know what? The best way to defeat enemies is to actually just despawn them. I'm not even joking either. If you wait long enough, most enemies will just off themselves by walking off the screen. This even actually happened during a boss fight and I soft locked the game. Oh man. Well, here we are, the final boss. It all comes down to this. Was it worth it? I played the entire game. No. It wasn't. It wasn't worth it. Well, that was disappointing.
Next up is this game called Moji Chibing. And hey, we're already taking a massive step forward because the characters here are actually distinguishable. You can play as Legolas, Gandalf, Gimli, Aragorn, and Frodo. At least I'm assuming that's Aragorn. I mean, with my in-depth knowledge of the rings, I'm pretty sure that's not Boromir. <laughs> You know, this game isn't actually that bad. It really takes after and feels just like a Pocky and Rocky style game. Oh wow, it, it turns out it is based on the Pocky and Rocky with Becky engine. With Mega Man 5 sound engine? What? Gandalf is the way to go. You start picking up power-ups and he becomes a god among men. Nigh unstoppable because he has homing shots so you don't even have to aim anymore. And even if you're having trouble, you can just knock enemies away like they're nothing. Like, eh, eh, get away. Man, this game is so easy! Oh my god! When you die, you die! You take that last fateful hit and you explode into a pile of blood and bones! Are my Lord of the Rings characters literally vomiting up blood? That was- that was programmed into the game? No, oh, beloved Frodo, it is I, Samwise, here to protect you! Oh... Dead, dead, dead. Hey, oh, whoa, geez. Um, maybe uh, touch him up a little, It'll make him look better. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Once you take a hit, you lose all your powers, and it's basically RNG if you're gonna get them back or not. You know, there isn't a whole lot to even say about this game because it's not even really that bad. It's got lots of characters to play as that all have their own powers and power-ups. Oh man, here goes Frodo, he's popping off. <laughs> Good job, Frodo! Lots of bosses that have their own unique fighting styles and patterns. Some of them even kind of resemble Lord of the Rings characters. Like that that could be Saruman. I mean, he's he's like a wizard, he's got he's got a ball in his hand. Most of the enemies don't make any kind of sense though. I think there's maybe like one singular orc in the entire game. Everything else is is like a like a crow to tornadoes with eyes. Oh, I get it. It's, it's the eye of the storm. It's, it's clever. And, uh, whatever these things are. Oh, hey, look, it's the guy from the continue screen. Well, I know you're all thinking those are just Game Boy games. Those are both Game Boy games, by the way. Well, what about some Lord of the Rings games on a first rate, a superior console, like the Sega Genesis? Yeah! Lord of the Rings! There's no way this game could be bad! What? What? I'm gonna have a goddamn aneurysm over here! I don't know what's happening! It's Gimli and his boobies! Uh, oh, yeah. I see, I, I see. I, I can throw uh, dwarf shurikens. Don't, don't tell me that the game just whistled at the girl. I think I think I'm actually just speechless. I, I don't know what to say. And I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Take this, dwarf shark game. So I guess this game is kind of like a puzzle game. You walk around the map. You collect different items that let you get past certain obstacles. Like I gotta go over here, grab the key to get through this door. Oh my! Oh my God! What is happening? The eagles are coming! The eagles are coming! No! Oh God! The Freaking dragons all over what? How was I supposed to avoid that? I guess this is actually just another game called Stormlord for the Genesis. Literally, the only thing that has changed is the title screen. Coulda, coulda fooled me. All you needed was a ring. You just uh, put that in there. And then uh, maybe I put up an ice cream in there because because I, I like ice cream. Next up, we have Lord of the Rings: Return of the King for the Mega Drive. That guy's like. I'm, I'm gonna get you. Aragorn's like, no, I see you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Check out this music! The king is returning, but the whole world is situated at swords points! Uh, what? It was over that fast! Give me time to read it at least! The king is returning, but the whole world is situated at swords points. And the war is on the verge of breaking out. Only the ring that possessed great witchcraft can rescue. 
the world. Oh my god, it's a fighting game? What? Look at how big Frodo is! What a beautiful roster of characters you got there. These portraits, mwah! They are so regal, they belong among the greats at the Lavoe. What? What, what kind of music is playing in the background right now? Oh. Yeah! Get him, Frodo! Yeah! Punch and kick him! Yeah! Don't use that sword at all! Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I just kicked so hard that an energy beam came out of my hairy ass hobbit feet. What does one exactly say about a fighting Lord of the Rings game? Oh, I, I loved putting in the, the, the Hadouken input into my controller and seeing Aragorn hunch over like a troll and scream. Better yet, I kid you not, this is one of the special moves of the Urukai. Could you imagine if the orcs knew this combat technique in the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I mean, it would have been over. At its core, the game is a two-button fighter that has manual inputs for some special moves. It's pretty generic. You have your Hadouken-type moves and your Shoryuken-type moves. Attacking fills up this energy bar at the bottom where you can pull off a special attack. These are usually pretty devastating and completely silly. The game itself is literally just randomized progression. Every time you defeat an opponent, it selects a random character from the roster to fight. Including yourself. Oh my god, it's like... It's like the, the, that Frodo's fighting his inner demons that the, that the ring gave him. Oh my god. Eventually, the game just kind of ends. Really? That's all I get? I mean, granted, it's a good picture of Aragorn. He's a good looking guy. But I was kind of hoping for maybe a little bit more. Like a boss fight, maybe? Like, maybe you could fight Sam for the last sausage. Now, there's one last game we have to take a look at. One last dive into the abyss. And its English translation is King of Ring. Midland world about 5400 years ago. Dark Lord combined the technique of the metallurgy and the magic, smelting a lot of rings with the magic power. In face, he returned to Mordor stealthy, smelting a most powerful ring, and with this ring's magic power to control and suppress the other rings, and to establish the powerful Dark Kingdom. Midland world before the end of the second century. The king of the spirit Gilgalad and his new new what? The king of the spirit Gilgalad and Numenor's King Elendil. Okay, well that part's right, but the king of the spirit? I, I don't know what that means. Compose the league of the human and the sprite. Oh, it makes a perfect sense now. Elves are sprite or spirit. After the flaming war, Dark Lord failed finally. The inheritor of the Elendil used the fragments of the Saint Sword, slashed the Dark Lord's finger, and occupied the ring. The ring spread from place to place. Surprise appeared in very fond of delicious foods and easy life's race hobbits. Frodo Baggins, who inherit the relative's property in this strange situation, also inherit the responsibility for saving the world. So we also be the target that the good guys and the bad guys that to fight for. It checks out. Ha <laughs> excuse me? Am I in some sort of RPG? Well, apparently not, because it's actually, in fact, an action platformer. You run around as, as Frodo and hack mutated pigs to death. And that's exactly what happened in the Lord of the Rings. If anyone says any diff different, they're lying. Only profoundest philosopher can pass this place. Wait, that's not cool. You saying I'm not a philosopher? This is like this is like the first place you can go. What? what? Oh my god! There's like no actual way to avoid the damage sometimes. 
After you get out of this first area, Gandalf comes up to you and he's like, Hey, yo, what's up? And then you can play as Gandalf. Long time no see, my friend. This time I come to here is want to know something about the ring. The ring. How should we deal with this ring? Gandalf the Grey feature is no more controlled by us. Now we should go to seek help from Dark Lord. Give me the ring. We can start a whole new world to get her. You, you are not my best friend anymore. I have give you opportunity to join us. Don't defy us. I won't join you. And then I will need to attack you. Who needs that stuff? It's all about the game. Wait, why, why does Gandalf look like a Canadian from South Park? It's like one of those optical illusions. Is it the duck or is it a rabbit? Is Gandalf a derpy guy or is that a beard? So I guess the cool thing about this game is that you can switch characters on a whim. You just press start and you can swap out for a different guy. We're hitting this level right here to pick up Aragorn then it's off to Rivendell. Oh my god, I swear to god, you can't not take hits in this game! Your combos don't mean anything because nothing gets staggered for more than the first hit! You know what, screw it, I'm going back to Frodo, I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do this the whole time. Alright, so we finally made it to Rivendell, and now we have Legolas. He's pretty cool because he can walk on the snow, and he can double jump. Okay, I'm at Moria now, and I have to fight this gosh dang Watcher in the Water! He has tentacles charging you from all over the place, you can't even attack fast enough to kill them before they get you, and the hitboxes are so big they get you anyway! And to top it all off, he doesn't even telegraph when he's getting hurt! I kid you not, I spent like an hour trying to kill this guy. So this better be worth it. Only the friend of the midget can enter this place. Friend of the midget? Friend of the midget. Whatever happened to speak friend and enter? No, forget about that. Oh, the friend of the midget, huh? Oh, I see, friend of the midget. Uh-oh, I think the game is broken. Oh, still a better story than those Hobbit movies, though, am I right? Hey, subscribe for more holly quality jokes like that. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I want to take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Does you or someone you know look like they belong in a fantasy novel? Hypocrite. Then why not use my link down below to sign up for Dollar Shave Club? This is what you get. Whoa. I gotta open it now. Apparently it's called the Shit Shower Shave Kits. And it's only $5 for the first month. In your first box, you'll receive the shave butter, body wash, one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. You'll also receive an executive razor, which includes their premium weighty handle and a full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few dollars a month. So, I guess there's nothing left to do but to shave. But I made a promise to an old friend. <laughs> Dang it! I keep my promises! Oh yeah, I got a nice uh, half thing going now. This looks good, right? Man, I have not fully shaved and I don't even know how long. I don't know how much of this stuff to put on. This, this that does not seem like enough though. You know, one of the things that always bothers me about shaving is it's hard to find a good razor, and you know, I'm actually not having a bad time with this one. Whenever I go to like the store, it's I never know which ones to pick because it's like, what, what's the difference going to be, right? And, you know, these are not bad. <laughs> wow. Uh, can you guys notice the difference? Man, I look totally different. I haven't been clean shaven in such a long time. It's actually kind of a nice feeling. Maybe I'll uh, uh, keep it for a little bit. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, the sponsor is Dollar Shake Club. Use the link right on the screen slash in the description down below. Help yourself out. Help this channel out. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.
you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, then click that subscribe button and like the video for more videos like these. Share it around with your friends, your mom, your dad. No, never mind. I know your dad. He doesn't he doesn't like my videos. He said it. He said it on his his Facebook. Facebook's still a thing, right?